Um, this one's for the parents. Uh, parents, we're going to talk about pickup in the afternoon at the Middle High campus. So I'm standing out in front of the school. I'm standing out in front of the school. Show the school. Okay, don't step off the curb. Come back this way. All right. Right here, this is the parent uh, pickup loop. This is the parent pickup loop. These stop signs right here and this big white line right here is where they're in there are cones out here orange cones you are to drive all the way up to the cone there are teachers out front telling you what to do when you are pulling in to park in the, the parent pickup waiting on your kids you need to pull all the way forward leaving a car link between you is causing the backup out onto um california no, that's California. Onto um, Peacock, and we had cars backed all the way around the circle. There are people, residents who live here who don't have kids coming to school here, who are calling and complaining, and they're going to call the city and complain, and then we're going to have a problem. So I need you guys to pull all the way forward. If you're in this loop, then you need to be as far forward as possible because you're, the space that you guys are leaving between each car is causing the causing the line to be longer than it needs to be. We triple stack all the way in here. So you need to make sure that you're pulling all the way up. I need you to not be on your cell phones. I need you to be paying attention to the grown-ups that are out here, to the staff that's trying to, when they're doing this, that means pull forward. When when they're, you know, saying, come on, come on, that means you need to go further forward and you need to go a little bit, you know, more quickly. If they hold their hand up, they're stopping you. And it may not be on the crosswalk. If they're holding their hand up, it's because there's a child here who needs to get into a car in that third lane over there. So this is the sidewalk. Look down. This is the sidewalk that the kids are waiting on. They're waiting on this sidewalk. This lane right here, this first lane, it's easy and safe for the kids to get into this lane. But for the cars that are parked in this lane, the second one, or the cars that are So my teachers step out here and they say stop. They need you to stop so we can get these kids across and load it. Parents, if you are in this lane and you see your kid right there, you don't stop right here if there's nothing in front of you. You need to pull all the way forward. We will make your child pull all the way forward. You guys can roll your windows down and yell names at us that are on the sidewalk. So those of us, that, that whether it's me, whether it's my teachers, whoever, if we're out there, you can yell a name at us. If you're here and you need to pull forward and your kid's back here, yell a name. We will yell the name and tell the kid to go up there and get in the car. You can't leave all that space between you and the car in front of you. This is our crosswalk. We try, now today we did because we were so backed up, but typically we do not load past the crosswalk. We load on this side of the crosswalk because that's what's safe. If we load on that side of the crosswalk, it's not safe for the children. We have less control and less people back there. Today we did because of how many of you decided to pick up your children. Now, a lot of you requested the buses and still drove your kids and picked your kids up. I'm gonna guess that's because it's the first day of school. That type thing is what causes the mess that we had out here today. If you register for the bus, you need to put your kids on the bus. If your kids are not on the bus by the end of this week, you're going to lose your seat and we're going to give that seat to a student who is on the wait list. And we have 200 kids on wait lists for the buses. So parents, if you register for the bus, put your kids on the bus because there are families who need those seats. If you have the ability to bring your kid and you wanna bring your kid and you only requested the bus for emergencies or just in cases, that's not fair to the parents who actually need their kids on a bus. So again, please, if you registered for a bus, you need to be on the bus. If you are a parent pickup naturally and you're not registered for a bus, I need you to follow the parent pickup rules. So in addition to being three this way, when you come into the parking lot and you turn right and you come up around the loop, where the three comes around the corner, I don't know, can you zoom in back there? If you can zoom in. The way back there where the three lanes 
comes around that median, that you should be double stacked there. And you guys were only single stacked. You were only, you had one row coming out. You should have had two rows coming out. So you, that means that when you pull in, the first card that starts to come around that curve, you need to stay all the way to one side or the other. Don't take up the center of, of that driveway. You need to, to come all the way around and against one side or the other, left or right. So when you're where the um, where that container is out there, those are par student parking spots, and that's supposed to be picked up before tomorrow. And the dumpster should have already been picked up. Um, but that's all student parking out there. So if you when you pull in from Peacock and you go in that direction, if you pull up behind those student rows and they're blocked in, that's their problem. They'll get over it. We make this go pretty fast, and the kids are okay waiting. They understand. All right, so they, they've been doing it for a couple of years now. So I need two lanes. Once we turn that corner, I need two lanes all the way to where the entrance is on Peacock. If you are coming from the west, if you are eastbound coming from the west, from the circle, and you're coming this way and you're turning left into our parking lot, if it looks like the traffic in the parking lot is backed up all the way to the end, keep going, go further down. There's a circle down there. Turn at the circle down there and come back. So do a U-turn and come back this way because the turning lane to turn right into our parking lot is a quarter of a mile long. The turning lane to turn left into our parking lot. So if you're eastbound turning left into our parking lot, it's like 350 feet to the circle. If you are coming from the east going westbound you're turning right into the parking lot that's a quarter of a mile long turning lane so you can go up around the next circle do a u-turn and come back and get in that if you can see when you pull up here if you can see that the the parent pickup line is that far out now i will tell you that last year it has never ever been that bad we have a lot more students this year and again i don't know if it's because parents just wanted to drive and pick up their kids on the first day i don't know if it was because we we had to park 1708 because we lost a driver i don't know what the issue was today but there were so many parent pickups it took a half an hour it, it was four o'clock before we were done with um pick up today and and while 30 minutes doesn't sound long if you're coming from other schools in the neighborhood you know where they do you know an hour or two hours um for us it's a really long time because we're usually done in 12 to 15 minutes so um again if you'll follow some of these rules it will help speed this up the biggest thing is once you're in the parking lot you need to be bumper to bumper you need to be like that close to the car in front of you because you have to create space behind you for everybody else coming in um, the parents who are parking on the yellow stripes around that circle up there and then getting out of your car and coming over here and getting your children, that is not safe and it's illegal. Parking on those yellow stripes on the circle is illegal. So tomorrow, road patrol will be here to monitor that. Um, but getting out and walking across and getting your children and walking back across that circle, it's not safe for your kids. Um, so in addition to not being legal, it's not safe. The parents who are driving up here to Wolverine and parking on the swales in front of those people's homes, the, there's a new rule. You have to actually have permission from those people to park in their swales. It's not public property, it's their property. So you have to have permission to park there. If they want to, they can call uh, code enforcement or they can call the police and you can end up getting a ticket up there. So again, if, you're, if your student needs to walk, your student can walk all the way home. If your student is being picked up, you need to be in the pickup line. If your student can ride a bus, let your students ride a bus. Now for bus 1708, um, we lost a driver over the weekend completely unexpectedly, and I need bus drivers. So if you know anybody who has a CDL with the passenger and some other kind of an endorsement, school bus endorsement, um, we are absolutely taking applications. Uh, we are definitely hiring for school bus drivers. Um, and until we find one, 1708 is, is going to continue to be an issue. So students who um, can't find a way, the students who ride 1708 and can't find a way in, uh, you can wait and another bus is gonna drop off here and then come out and get you. 
Um, same thing in the afternoons. If you if you don't have a ride home, you can wait here. Then first bus that comes in in the afternoon will then take you back out. It just means you're going to be home later in the afternoon and you're going to be late for school in the morning. It's an ex it's um, an excuse tardy because it's our fault the bus isn't running, but you don't want to miss too much class. So if you can make other arrangements, try to. Um, and parents, if you know anybody who can drive a bus, we are taking applications. Absolutely. Um, okay, I think that's it for... Oh, and if you're sitting in your car in the pickup line, no smoking because it's illegal to smoke on a school campus. Even if you are in your own car, if you are on campus property, so once you enter the parking lot, it is illegal to be smoking. So I need you to um, put those cigarettes out and wait until you get out of the parking lot to light up again. Um, okay, so that was it for the middle high campus. Thanks, Spartans. I hope we have a better dismissal tomorrow. Thank you.